exhibition contest coming up between the Steelers and the Jets. The Jets playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. And here we go with third-year quarterback out of SC, Mark Sanchez. Burris takes the game. So as we look at the offense, one of the biggest weapons is Antonio Holmes out of the Ohio State University, and he is a rock-solid receiver. Yeah, and what I like about Santonio Holmes is there is seemingly never a ball out of his range. He makes spectacular catches look effortless, and he does it in big moments. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Defense is the recipe for success for this team, and they've enjoyed a lot of it. Of course, it all starts with exceptional strong safety, the Tasmanian Devil, Troy Polamalu, out of USC. Uh, I don't know what more you can say about Troy Polamalu that hasn't been said a hundred times. He's just one of the best, and maybe one of the best ever, and he's probably ticketed for the Hall of Fame. I know that is high praise, but when you watch him play, he can just do so much, and his instincts seem to always take him to the ball. Makes the throw over the middle. Interception! The stop was made by John Condon. Out comes Miami of Ohio grad Ben Roethlisberger, a Pro Bowl selection in 2007. Looking... Fires it to the left. On offense, this is a team that plays smart, consistent, team-oriented football, and the result is one of the league's best attacks, and the leader is, of course, a future Hall of Fame player, wide receiver Hines Ward out of Georgia that shows no signs of slowing down. Yeah, and what's amazing about Hines Ward is that with all of his success, he still prides himself on catching the toughest balls in the toughest situations, and perhaps the greatest blocking wide receiver the game has ever seen. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Defense is the bedrock of this team, and when you look at the personnel, you can see why. There are stars all over the field, and none bigger than Darrell Rivas out of Pittsburgh. Might be the best corner in the NFL today. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Gus. He is a guy that other teams actually avoid, and that's pretty rare in the NFL. Darrell Rivas consistently is given the other team's best wide out and consistently shuts them down. And he makes it to the six-yard line. Calvin Pace was there to bring him down. Just five yards away from a touchdown now. Again, he'll get the call. Touchdown, Steelers! So with that, they took advantage of the interception and added points to the board. Suisha is good on the point after. Pittsburgh is up seven. Sweesham will be kicking off. McKnight stands back to field the kick. And the tackle was made by Wesley Saunders. The Jets suffered an interception on their last possession. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line. It's first and 10. Gives it off. The stop was made by Casey Hampton. Four yards on the carry. Brings up second down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Steps and throws to the left side. It's a pick. Down inside the 30. And the tackle was made by Sean Green. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Short throw to the left. 
He's tackled around the 19-yard line by Smith. Always like that play call. Get the ball out to one of your playmakers. Give him a chance in the open field. Pretty good game that time. He's looking down the middle. Throw. Touchdown, Steelers. Another big play for Heinz Ward, Super Bowl 40 MVP. Here's a guy that is feared probably more for his blocking than his receiving ability, but he's pretty darn good at both. The PAT is up and good. Swisham is ready to kick this one off. McKnight is deep, looking to return the kickoff. James Ferrier was there for the stop. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. First down and 10. Throws to his right. And he drops the short pitch. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Green takes a handoff. The stop was made by James Ferry. They get three yards on the play. And from their own 21-yard line. He's searching for a receiver. Looking to his left. He's going deep. And the pass ball is incomplete. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Flag on the play, first of the game. You can see even his teammates are upset about that when you can't make that kind of a mistake on fourth down. Hold on, there is a flag down. And he was just a little too eager on that one. Here's the call. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. Green gets the ball, and the tackle was made by Casey Hampton. Gets about four on the play. They're looking at second down and six. They're on their own 35. Green gets the carry, left side. The stop was made by James Harrison. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. We've played a quarter.